Jeremy Cook here, and today I'm going to show how I made a custom computer volume knob out of a recycled golf ball. Follow along to see how I made it. So this is the jig I came up with. Rather terrible print quality, which is a long story, but the good thing is it does fit this golf ball. So I'm going to try this with this kind of, again, kind of a disgusting golf ball too. So yeah, why not? Let's uh, go ahead and push it in there. And uh, actually the bad print quality may have helped here because it just retains it without even using the vise like I thought I'd have to use. This hole here goes in the hole there and that basically lines everything up. And I'll just note that the order of operations is important here because obviously you gotta line it first. I'm gonna use a center drill just to make sure I get it right in the middle. Got that, got a nice hole in there quarter inch drill in here. Actually what we really want is the paddle bit. So a golf ball is 1.68 inches in diameter. I marked it from here to here at 1.5 so that way it won't poke through and hopefully it'll be be uh, in, tall enough. Or to, you pick. Well, not too bad for my first try. Let's pop this out here. We've got an M5 tap hole here at, uh, I believe it's 4.6 millimeters. So it goes there. So pretty neat. Maybe time uh, to clean this up on the 3D printing side and then maybe use a little bit nicer ball. Yeah, maybe I'll have something I can use. Or maybe not. Either way, it's a uh, pretty neat curiosity. It spins around a little bit even after you uh, stop. Might be good or bad. So a new print. This one turned out pretty nicely. Let's see. So what I did was I made this solid so that basically if I put some um, hot glue in here, it could press on this and then it could push out. And then I made these little holes that I can it can go up if it needs to, if there's extra. And I made it just about on size, so push it in there and it's pretty tight. Other thing was I made this hole go all the way through so it'd be a little easier to tap. And uh, yeah, so anyway, this should be a, should be good. And I'll cut another one of these. Also, I made a new jig and it's got a little spring built in here. Get it out more easily. There we go. Also, I made this hole and this hole the same same distance from the edge, so that way you can line up one time there and it'll be the same there. Or I guess you could plunge this first, you could drill through there and then do that. Using jigs like this, I guess the order of operations sometimes matters quite a bit. But I made the spring below the uh, the center line, so that basically I'll, I'll put this on the the set part of the vise. That way the hole isn't going to vary with respect to that. Just another, another little detail, may or may not matter. And you know, I'm not looking for machinist tolerances here, but closer the better. So we'll line this up here.
it looks pretty much perfect except for this hole in it. So maybe I'll uh, go ahead and redo that. And drill down there a little bit more or I could refine the print. I, I kind of hate to drill down too much more because I'm gonna I'm gonna penetrate that eventually but I need some more room there so hmm. so to get deeper I think what I'm gonna do is, is snap off the tip either here or in this one I have a pretty good set of these these paddle bits and just a few of these speedboard things so these are probably a little better Bit of a debate. I don't know which one I'm going to snap off. All right, I guess I'm going to snap off the speed bore. Seems like it'll snap in a more uniform, not like bend. Yeah, I don't use these as much, so. Line this up on the quarter inch side, on this quarter inch thing right there, and then I'll plunge down a bit more. Yes. After some trial and error, I did get this golf ball working and it looks fantastic. At the same time, using it for video editing and following control, I found it to be rather uncomfortable to use. Perhaps there was some application for this type of device, but for now, I'll stick with a one inch knob on my JC Pro Macro. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy Cook, signing off.